horseradish update. We have what's left in the bucket. I just cut the tops off. We're going to leave that for next year. All that horseradish that grew out of the bottom of that bucket and up through the ground, I dug all that up, gave the leaves to the rabbits because they love the horseradish leaves. And this is what I got harvested from what I dug out of the ground. Now I put a pop can here for comparison of the root. You can see this one is twice the length and same big around as a pop can or a beer can. And I got some young tender ones and these other ones. Now this one's three times longer than a pop can. This is just one of the roots that grew out of the bottom of the bucket and into the ground. Same with this one and same with this one. So these are these are the harvest I got that Ruthie and I got to peel and grind for our horseradish sauce. I thought you might like to see what uh, two years of not tending your horseradish does. Just leave it in the ground and the larger it gets gonna have a lot of grinding to do. Make some horseradish sauce and cocktail sauce for seafood. Alright, this is Clay from back, Popel's Backyard Farm reminding you that you can backyard farm too no matter how big or how small. Bye bye.